Hello everybody, my name is Park, and in today's video I got asked to play the Lance, so I'm gonna do exactly that. I've got my standard elemental Lance build. This is a pretty standard one at this point. I don't have anything like super special on here that gives it a stupid amount of damage. These are all really basic augments as you just saw, and I've got a guard 3 talisman with Mail of Hellfire, and a 2 and a 1 slot. Very simple build, I haven't updated it yet obviously because I could fit way way more into this build, but all these green numbers here are from decorations of course. And let's go take it to a monster that I love to fight with the Lance. And this time that means I'm going to go fight a Naga Cougar. Righty, let's go. I need to swap scroll immediately because I've got Mel of Hellfire, which will give me much more damage than the small of, like, element boost that, uh, what's it called? Dereliction would normally give. But that's okay. I'm going to just counter this to get a free buff. For the start of the hunt, at least. Probably won't last too long. We can insta block that into damage. Nice and easy, poke and go to those arms, because we'll deal a lot more to them. Should get enraged, because we did some decent pokes. Insta block that, slap it in the face. Bite out of it. Ah, I was too slow. That's alright. Too slow again, but that's fine. We can heal it up pretty easily. Lance does a lot of bloody damage, so it doesn't take too much to heal. Bite again. Insta block, into slap of course. And again, I should have countered that one just to get the buff, but that's okay, we can do it here. Back it up, insta block one, counter the next one so we get a bigger buff because I've only got a little red buff. Go to those arms once again, it missed. Just block this. Okay. Should come back. There. And the trample, do it early because it tends to hit quite early. Nice little pokes. Back it up, insta block, run forward, insta block, run forward. And then leaping thrust. I want to try and break those arms if I can, because we'll get a free knockdown from it. Block that, and then insta-block this one. I should have definitely uh, countered it instead to get a buff, but that's okay. Um, I should honestly go for the tail instead for now, because if we break that arm during a knockdown, we won't get the knockdown later on, and that's real bad. Also, he's tired now, so it's going to take a bit for him to do things. I should have also eaten for fighter, just so I can charge a bit further. As you see, it doesn't go too far, but you can also shoot him retreat. Should have done that from the start, but I thought I might make it. Which was definitely wishful thinking. He usually attacks instantly out of that, so just be careful. The quills, you just smack it in the face. Easy stuff, counter this to get a free buff. Okay, nice. Reach that arm if we can. Block that. Poke once into leaping thrust. Chase down. Again, if I had more stamina there, uh, we would have just done the charge instead, but I didn't eat for fighter because I forgot. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> it was in the exact spot where it could hit me. That's okay. We broke apart midair. Nice. So we got an easy topple. Very, very nice. Take that free damage any day. Careful of my stamina real quick. Insta block one. You could probably cross slash off that as well. The first one at least. And then, uh... Counter the next one in time, but I don't trust it. And they probably deal a lot of damage to me, because it's a level 300, of course. So it would have dealt quite a bit of damage if I tried to do that and I messed up the cross slash. Like, got a little bit of damage out of cross slash, but missed most of it. Okay, should be on the dogs, just careful. You can always block there if you're not safe, or if you don't feel safe, at least. Well, it didn't tell me that it broke an arm, but uh, it did. You can see it's broken here. Now it popped up. Bite. Slap. Hop. Okay, that's fine. We just counter that to be safe. We'll heal up easily from damage because we got Anomaly Blight from the first slap. I would love to go the arm here, but that's okay. We'll just deal with it. I'll miss a attack if I try and go to the face. So I'm just going to hit this arm for now. It's too early because he's tired. It's alright. Slip and slide. Again, might attack out of that, so just get ready to insta block. That's fine. Poke to cancel. Run forward. Run forward again, because there's a wall here. You can't go anywhere. Oh, tired. Easy stuff. I should have kept hitting, but I was making sure, just in case he did something that was offensive to me at least. Nice. We got a break. Or a uh, knockdown from damage. At least that's what I think it was. We got a knockdown of some sort. It's very good for me. Not so good for him, but it's good for me. Lucky time of that block. Okay. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's alright. Poke to cancel. Should be active. 
block early, just to make sure. Okay. Block early again. For some reason that has a much larger hitbox, like extended hitbox on that first bite. So sometimes it'll hit you. Block. Okay, went for the dog. Nope. Slap. Poke to cancel. Get some more leaping thrust. Okay. There. Oh! Nope, tail. It's fine. Counter it. Get a buff. Poke to cancel. Leaping thrust. Hold the block as well. As long as you don't do the, uh... What's it called? That's gonna hurt. Keep hopping just to try and get out of there in time. Because I did it on the first one instead of the second. Which was big dumb, but that's alright. Nicely reached. Block this. If you uh, do an attack early out of... What's it called? Out of... Um, oh, brain. I can't think of it. God damn it. <laughs> that was good advice too. I just completely forgot it. Just insta-block. There's two here usually. Nope, only did one. We're leaping thrust over. Oh, if you attack early out of leaping thrust, it doesn't have a guard anymore. So you want to hold your guard until the attack goes off. And then you can usually leaping thrust if you get it attacked in the right time. Because you can actually hold leaping thrust for quite a while. So as soon as the, the, the guard goes off, you can still attack with leaping thrust usually. Even if you like super delay it. It's pretty damn good. Alright, easy stuff. Yeah, that's one of my favorite matchups with Lance. I love it. As you see, lots of insta blocks. A decent bit of chasing game as well, if he actually gets to get away from you. It's very, very fun. I tried to explain everything as best I can, because the person that asked wanted to learn Lance. So hopefully that can help a little bit. Just be careful with your insta blocks. Recognize when some monsters have extended hitboxes on their attacks. Like Nagakuki here with that pounce forward, where he does like one, two, three, and then swivels. He has an extended hitbox on the first two, so you have to counter quite early to actually land that one, otherwise you'll get hit. And then obviously, oh, mental off the shiny, I'll take it. And then obviously with the tail slams, you got to insta block one. You can probably land a cross slash off the first one, like before he lifts his tail away and then cross slash it, and then counter the next one. If you spam it, you should be able to make it in time. But I didn't trust it, and as I said, it's a 300. He's going to deal a lot of damage if he hits me. I don't really want to get hit. Especially with, like, Dereliction and Bloodlust already draining my health. It's not ideal when I can just block it. So I do that instead most of the time. And if you're curious in how to optimize this, I'd probably just drop a bunch of stuff to get Metal of Hellfire up. Because you can see it's level 1 here, so I can lose 2 levels or something in my augments, because they're pretty simple ones. That one, for example, I don't need. Uh, this one I also don't need that much. That I definitely don't need. That one I definitely don't need. There's plenty you can do to make this do more damage. As well as the talisman, I just went with guard 3 because I like to have guard on my, like, shielding weapons. It's one of my comfort skills for shields. It's a very, very solid skill having to be able to block something. Well, everybody, hopefully that helps some of you out. I know some people were asking me to do some Lance gameplay again. This one's a bit, a little bit more in-depth. I tried to make it as in-depth as... In depth as I could in a five minute hunt because he only lasts about five minutes usually. Five to six as you saw. As always though, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.